here. I got y'all for you. Okay, stick this right flush with this edge. The one closest to you's got to come up. You think? Yep. Do you know it has to go up or do it has to go down? And I want it to come up. You sure? It's point two. Point one three. Six. It's going to go up. This one's going to go that way. Is that what you were saying? Why don't you put the end of that fork tube on there lengthwise and lift it up instead of bending the other one? It's going to bend everything up. So I've got to be careful. It's going to, it has to twist through here. That's just how it's going to be. Now the, you can't keep this from, if you bend this here, it's going to bend everything. The twisting axis is only where it works, but what I can do is I can put more pressure here and more out here to change the where the pressures are at. That might help slightly. That's going to tend to split them apart also. There's point two now. Point zero eight. Only like point two over here. Point one eight. Point one five. So that one's good now. This one's a little bit lower. Point one. Point ten. Anyway. So this one needs to come off slightly. To zero almost. You want to point two up. Now we need to go down. I'm not sure how much I'm bending it there. I gotta sneak up on it. Okay, there's point point one four. Two, three. Is that the right adjustment? Point two. This is a point three now though. So the level kind of loses what you need. This is what really matters. There, that's what we need to do. This thing needs to go up. Stupid level just confuses you.
These are pretty strong. This isn't. The problem is we're trying to bend this. You're fighting it. You don't want to do that. Okay, now we're showing that we are. We went up too far there. So this has a bow in it now. Now the only thing that really matters on this is right where the balls are at, which is right here. So we want this here to be straight. The rest of it can go wherever it wants. It doesn't matter. Well, the balls didn't seem to wear any grooves in the rods. Well, they're way out of luck. They didn't wear the rods, they wear out the ball themselves. Look at that. So square we want it to be right in the middle. So it's all said and done, you gotta find the part that matters to you. This is where it hits, and now we have to rock on where it hits. Gotcha. Everything else doesn't really matter. But those planes all need to be flat. Those are still pretty, mm -hmm. you can hear it so. Mm -hmm. So we're holding it way down there like where the rock rooms are. Pretty good. So you got square. So this is square and the bottom of those arms is square. That's all I care about. Now I don't know how flat it's going to be on our table. I'm going to go look. As far as I'm concerned, it's square now. I'm trying 15 different ways of doing stuff, but you got to come back to what really matters at the end. So, this one here should be square. You know, we did cause a little bit of damage on our uh, we're not. We're here. not worried about it. Yeah, we can dress that up a little bit and hide what we did. And scratch the primer a little bit too. Okay. Now the big fork, we don't know what's going to happen. So let's take this and these two blocks. Let's go check what we did. With that. And see if we have any changes. Bring that level with you too. You want that other piece of steel? No, we're good. I want to know what happened here. There's what I care about, right there. See, that's what I don't want to see. I don't think we're going to get it. Get it if we, we figure out how, how to do it. See, right now these here are two high spots. You see how it reverses? See, that's what I don't understand. Why is it 180 apart from each other? This table must not be flat. The square must have a twist in this table. Let's see what we got. See what we got. Yeah. And exactly 180. The same thing. The same thing. It should flip. Well, it's hard to believe that table's got a twist in it. That's possible. Let me see. Check on this here. Okay, so according to this, this side needs to go down. 
this side has to go up now. Yeah, that's the correct direction. Now that's recording. Yeah, so it is doing, there's a twist in it. So it needs to be, it's sent through here. Could you look at it? So this needs to go this way. Square it. And when I flip it, this has to go up now because I reversed it. So it needs to go up still. So the twist is in here. So we need to, this has a little bit of a twist in it. And it needs to go, which way are we doing it here? We want to go like this. this to twist through here like this. So you hold this it's going to come my direction. So just put your palm like that. Ready? Yeah. You're not pushing very hard there. Well it's hard to do it. Did you hear my shoulder creaking? <laughs> Look at that. Ha <laughs> I like it. There you go. Now, let's see what happens if we move it to a different spot. Voila. If we bring it out to our tips, still good. Pretty good. I'm just a little off, but I, that's not much. We can live without. You can live with that? Yeah. Okay, I'm saying that's probably pretty square now. Okay, so, I like it. Now you know how to do it. All right. Bench voice. All right. Screw all that other shit. <laughs> Screw all that other shit and the gauge and, and the girls and everything. Okay, now let's see what we can do on this one. Let's see if we simplify this one. Out. This one's not going to twist as easy. No, it's sure not. But we can put a fork leg on there. We'll get some twist on it. Okay, this one's pretty. You know what? Boy, that's pretty close, too. I know. This is nice. Here. Huh? If we just say that's good, it's perfect. Oh, I was going to say, that's it's pretty close. Okay, now, okay, this one here needs to go this direction. So this needs to go up, which means it goes down when we flip it. And that's high. It needs to go up. See, it's 180. It's going the opposite direction. It's pretty far off that way. The other thing was is this gap right in here mm -hmm. should be equal when you flip it. It's pretty close. Okay. So if we go off this direction, we're pretty damn flat. It's nice. That's runnable. If you flip it the other way, we're off by 35. Okay. Now we were before we were uh, we were off uh, about 50 though that direction. So, but it's, it's the opposite. You flip it one way or the other, it goes it's the opposite direction. So what the hell? It's not being consistent. So we have there's, we know there's something wrong here. So I think we're probably pretty close on this. Okay. Nice. Now where's the other one at? Now this one here goes like this. Now with all that screwing around and we move our other dimensions in. Are the bars still in the middle? Right there. No, they're not. They're closer together now. Look at it. I guess they are.
Well, you only weigh about a buck fifty. Well, I did eat pizza earlier, so yeah, of course well, you're still in weigh, <laughs> weigh about a buck fifty. Yeah, but see, it's moving though. It's not moving much, but it's moving. Okay, so we're going to have to bend that a little bit more, a little more grunt than what I'm using right there. I'm going to eat some more beans. A bigger ass in here. You would just quit playing around it. Bend the damn thing. When we get Fred in here, he's got a bigger, you know what? I think I just bend it. Just quit screwing around and bend it, I think is all we need to do. Since we're not doing much. It's bending, but it's just all spring back. See, we got that same 30 or 40 thou. And that's what we need up here. You know, we're just a little off center, so. Now, if you just let it kind of uh, be like that, then it's going to wear the balls even back out. Because those are your balls, if you look at them, a big, huge wear spot in them where they should never be worn. Okay, uh, I think we're going to have to go back to our press, put it back in the press and crunch it like we did earlier, and then come back and get it squared. We'll double check our twist, and I think we're probably pretty good with this. Okay. So, flip that off, we'll go back and do that, we'll come back. All right, we're getting low battery. Okay, we're doing some more straightening here in our legs. We're going to get the thing to line up in the fork. Okay, we went and looked in the book and measured the dimension between our, our leg back here. And we're supposed to be um, 7.9 inches. Lights out. Good, you can see better. So you can see right there, we're at 7.9 inches right there, 7,900. So that gives us, uh, so this fork is at the correct bend here, or width. We had this fork here straightened up to the same width, but the problem was is our rods up here were about a uh, hundred thou too close together. So I need to bend each one of these legs out here. So basically spread these out like this, and then we come back up in here and pinch this on the top, which will open these up here. So basically these have to make like a U shape to it, so that's what I'm bending right now. So we just got done bending this leg over here, right up in this between here and here is where we bent it. So now we're going to bend this one here. Now we were at 7.9 inches, just like the other side. So right now we are now up to the even 8 inches here. So we bent it 100 thousandths. So now I'm going to bend it another 100. So each one of these two legs we bent out 100 thousandths. So that would be 200 total. And then when I come back over here, I'll bend this back here for about 100 more there. And hopefully I'll put this back at the number we need right here. If math works out, but we'll see how that math works. Now I'm holding this in my vise like this. So I only have light pressure here. I got good pressure against here, and I got real good pressure right here. I got the nut right there, so we're pretty solid. And Alan's keeping it from rotating up and down for me. And then we're using my, my normal bar here to use. Now you can also use the uh, fork tube right here if you wanted to. But the problem with the fork tubes, they would put an edge right here and you might get a little dimple. You can see over here I don't have any kind of dimpling, I just have some light. up there. We got a lot of springiness here. Picked up maybe another 10 or 20 thou more. So see a little bit more to go yet. Ooh, I moved it. Yeah, I felt it. You felt it? Yep. Oh yeah. 
it moved. Just like we did last time. When it moved, it moved. Okay. Like most things, they come back pretty quick. Let's pull the belt about 50. I need another 50 more. going to get that now. Got an extra 30 in there right now. Problem is right now I'm digging into that right there I think, which I don't really want to be doing. See that's the problem. We're going to be bending against a sharp edge. So I'll move it a little bit. Bend it back a little. Good. So they always come back quicker than they moved. Okay, now we got to get this bent to two and a quarter inches. And we were at what number? And flip it over the inches. We're sixteenth off. See, we're three sixteenths over here before I moved it. See, we're right on the three on the three sixteenths mark there. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna move it up sixteen so we're gonna... Okay. So now we're gonna go back in the press and push on this and try to get this number we need here. Take this with us. Let's go see what happens. You want the bender? Nope. Remember bending I feel like I do back here in the road. Gotcha. You keep finding different ways to bend them. <coughs> <laughs> See the damage we're doing here? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna dress that out. I don't want to, don't like seeing that. Okay, so I'm still putting my protective piece of aluminum in here. So it won't bend too hard. And I've been up here to part of the pressure you're not supposed to bend on, but I bend stuff all the time up here. That's why you got a good press. You can spin them one on spot. I felt like I did quite a bit of bending there. Probably more than we wanted. Nope, we're at eight inches right now. Good here though. Okay. So I'm going to bend these back here a little bit. Bring these back slightly. Okay, this time I'm going to bring my protective washers with me. I'm going to take my fork and do the damage. Okay, let's go see how these fit. Side here. Now the reason we want to bend this is because if you have any pressure on the balls right in here, those balls are going to shove these rods in under under bind. And if they're bound up, every time these things go up and down, they're wearing on the side of the rod, which will tear the rods up. So you want to get them as straight as you can to begin with. Okay, so see that right now we're pretty much dead center on the bottom of those ball yes. sockets. Mm -hmm. If you had the balls right there, they should slip right in there with no bind right now, if you brought them. Okay. So, but right now, we're, our dimension over here, we're 100 thou off here. So I got to bring it back 50 on each side, get our number back where we were. And then we got to check our twist, because every time you move stuff, it frees up other parts. Okay, so we're going to bring it in a little bit on each side. As long as you bend everything equally, you shouldn't have any problem with this stuff. Loosen this up a little bit more. Okay. 
Okay. I got pulling fifty thousand side now. Okay, hold the fork there a little bit. Like it goes until it hits here. Right, right. Mm, real close. A little bit more. You can see how the aluminum's taken uh, the mm -hmm. brunt of the force. I mean, excuse me, 950. Bring it down to 900. Now we flip it around and do the other side. Hopefully, we don't do any more damage on this thing. Okay, so we know we're going to have to go to. We're going to have to go to where you're hitting on that edge. I'll tighten this up until it's there. Okay. right back it's called spring pretty close uh, we're right at I think we're at the number okay Let's see there's the where these only marks we get to that little one right there right. versus we were getting this here yeah we're okay so we'll have to just lightly buff them down okay now we want to see if we changed our dimension in right here Have this at two and a quarter inches. It looks pretty damn close to two and a quarter. Check it twice. If anything, we might be just a little bit more than that. We are close, close, close. It's within ten thousand, I think. Okay, so now. That all in. We take our two square plates, push them 180 from each other. And whichever one moves is the one that's narrower or wider, excuse me. See how there's no movement on either one? That means they're both the same. If I had a little bit of a gap in there, you would hear it that. It would wiggle, yeah. You would get that on one of the two sides. Got nothing? And they're centered okay. nicely here. Well, we're getting a little bit on the bottom there. Just got a little bit. There we go. Okay, so the top is a little bit too close. See? Mm hmm Okay, so I gotta get just a little bit more spread on the top, which will bring these in just a little bit. That's incredible, but that's... <laughs> See, when we first tried to bend it, it wouldn't bend at all, remember? No. Yeah. Now that it's been bent a little bit, it's weakened yeah. it somewhat. Yeah. It's getting accustomed to moving around. It moves a lot more than it used to. 
Yeah, I can't believe I meant to spent as much as I did. Didn't know I was so strong. Just because I show you I got more muscle than I got weight in my ass. My ass won't bring it back, but I can bend it easy. It's still in there. Get close. A couple more bounces, that'll bring it in. Some people might say we're getting a little picky. <laughs> Nobody would do that around here, though. Mm. Yeah, we're going to eat more, we're going to get less muscles. <laughs> Moved it way too easy. Damn it. Hey, you're holding it down there. Cheating. Got ever so close. Yeah, but I want to get closer. It's like chewing in flywoods. You got to get that last couple tenths out, you know. How can we go from being real close to being real far? These aren't straight. It got worse. Of course, it's just about as awkward as it could be. Twisting my wrist. Bring out the heavy tools here pretty soon. I'm getting tired of this. We're back to where we were. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Damn. We're looking up here. Did I move a lot? No, it's good. Actually, it's moving in. <sighs> I'm to put a press here in a minute. Somebody's going to win here. Who's it going to be? I'm hoping it's us. <laughs> One more. I'm getting ready to go put on a press and really give it a good go. You know, then it'll go too far, of course. Yeah, I'm right. Then I'll just move it right back with my arm strength. And fine. I would never overdo it. What are you talking about? Oh, Attaboy. Yeah, it's still in there. You hear it. Is that enough? I like it. You liked anything. You liked it an hour ago. I didn't say that. That looks straight up there again, too. Yes, yes it does. Here's my measurement. I don't care what it looks like, I measure it.
pretty damn close. Okay, what's the last thing we're going to check? Uh, I don't know. Twist. Okay. You don't think it's still straight, do you? That's pretty close there, T. Close? Close doesn't cut it around here. When the hell is close ever close enough? Did it look like the official bending fixture there? Okay, we know it takes more than that. It's a side of bend either, it's a side of bend hard. It appears to be a side bending hard. That spot. Go that way. Another tip. That needs to go in. You're there. So in the actual wear part, we're good. You get on the very tip, we're off by just a little bit. Okay. That's pretty damn straight. I would say. Okay, so we know this is pretty damn close. This side here we gave up on. It's good this way. The other way it's not as good, but we'll go with this one. Okay. <laughs> so this goes in here now. It's going to sit about right there when it's assembled. So it'll be about right in this area here. So when you bring the balls in. I'll get it all painted up and bring it make in. Make sure the balls slip in here just perfect like they're supposed to. And we'll rebuild the rock arms and make sure they fit down here and make sure everything works nice and free before we put the springs on it. Okay. If it does no binding going up and down, we know we're good to go. Okay. Now the disadvantage of having a nice bind free front end is it'll pogo really bad when you go into a corner. So about oh. 43 to 45 mile an hour, the front wheel will wash right on. Oh, you. okay. Now if it was all tweaked and bent up like it was, you'd probably go around the corner at 65. Because, it, because it's all bound up. It's self-dampening. Yeah, yeah, right. That's why you're going to put the ride control here on the side to tighten up the dampening so it won't pogo. Okay, great. And we also have a steering damper now, functional, and like before. So you have a steering damper in there too, so it won't wobble while it's doing all that, while it's pogoing. Because when it okay. pogoes, it starts wobbling too. Okay. It's real fun. I don't believe I rode one that was ever right, so. I have, that's what happened to right. They handle like shit. Yeah, okay. You got one that barely moves, you can go there, my old bike, you yeah. push stuff down, take it as hard as you can, and it's on that bar. Just like a rigid front end. And I go around the corners past the BMWs are going. I'd be doing 70, 75 through the corners up the mountain, and they were slowing down. I'd be going straight through. Wow. Uh, all right. When things aren't working right, they do work right under the Yeah, all right. All right. That was a real project. Yeah. Now, check for twist. That 
comic book show at a bar going right through here. There ain't no damn way you got anything that's gonna go yeah. right through the center. Yeah, that's sure not. I've never seen a hole that goes all the way through this thing yeah. centered, but. That's what they showed. In the service book, there's a rod that goes right through here that you check for with right. your axle to check for flat. Right, like right, right. They're going through these two holes. There you go. I've, I've never seen anything that went all the way through. Yeah. So maybe on an offset front end, because I have the 48 book, on an offset fork, maybe they do that, but I don't think so, even on those. Okay. Because if they did, you'd have a grease coming through this hole. Gotcha. <laughs> when you zerked it, it would peek out there. Okay. So. All right. All right, so now we got to check to make sure all the other stuff is good. Now, do you think these are flatter this time through here? No, I'm hoping. Like before? Where's the uh, straight edge at? Get the appropriate tools. Now, before, this, this pad here was slightly off, off uh, kilter from what this one here was. So let's see how close we are. Look at that. That is, that's coming in just about Dead perfect. On. It's not perfect, but it's pretty close. Yeah. Like I said, it was just a little bit lower before. See, we're about 10 thou down right there. Mm -hmm. and we don't have that gap in there. So you can see the little gap right there. Mm -hmm. It's about 10 thou worth. So that's pretty damn close. Wow. All right, so this is all ready for uh, another I'll shot get it of all. primer, I guess. I'll prime it up and paint it, bring some it back. Some burying right here on the edges. I'll do it. And then we'll uh, get some real paint on it. All right. And we'll we can start. I'll take it. Good, nice. Only another four or five hours of work today. Oh this. Jesus! That's all. All right. Petro, you're a big man. We're out of pizza now, so we gotta go home now. All right. <laughs> Mighty fine. Thank you for all the effort. All right. Nice. Thanks. Cool.